Hey everyone, it's Anna Dolosky. You probably think the odds of you getting Lyme disease this summer are slim, but that's not what the numbers say. In fact, the CDC estimates roughly 300,000 people in the U.S. will get the disease each year. And while not all ticks infect people with Lyme disease, that's probably not the stage five clinger you want. So here's how to avoid becoming a tick's next meal. Luckily for us, ticks don't jump or fly, but they do crawl upwards. They need food, just like every other living thing. So they look for warm and moist areas to feed. So of course, do as I say, not as I do. Don't wear flip-flops outside while hiking or doing yard work, but of course you can wear long pants to avoid the ticks biting. Of course, in high heat, that's kind of hard to do. So high socks and boots are recommended if hiking in the woods. Dress accordingly. You can wear gear treated with permethrin. The repellent kills ticks, mosquitoes, and mites. Remember, tick bites are painless, so you won't feel a bite, which is why it's important to thoroughly check exposed areas, and often. Don't forget your pets. Anti-tick treatments and flea collars are effective in keeping ticks from biting pets. If you have a short hair dog, it's slightly easier to check for ticks. Here's an important one, keep your yard in check. Ticks love tall grass, so keep your lawn trimmed. And keeping mulch or gravel between your yard and the woods is a good way of creating a tick-free zone. Remove wood piles and stones where chipmunks and squirrels could hide because those little critters keep tick larvae circulating in nature. If hiking, stay in the center of the trails to avoid contact with tall grass and other vegetation. And here's one you may have been doing all wrong. If you do get a tick, don't use matches to burn it off. This could cause it to actually transmit bacteria more quickly. The correct way to remove it is to lift it with tweezers. And last, don't ignore the warning signs. The symptoms of tick-borne disease can include fever and chills, fatigue, and muscle aches. People with Lyme disease could experience joint pain. If untreated, of course, it can affect the heart or the nervous system, but antibiotics for early detection work best. To see more stories like this, like us on Facebook, visit our website, acsh.org, and don't forget to subscribe to our daily newsletter delivered straight to your inbox.